guys what is up it is ivy concrete catwalk those of you who are new to my channel welcome i love all things thrift vintage new nearly new estate sailing sailing you name it i love it to my catwalkers mwah, welcome back to a new video this sunday those of you who are newly subscribed thank you so much for coming along together on this journey before we get into it thank you guys for tuning in every Sunday, coming along, subscribing to my channel. I'm on an ever evolving grow in the things that I'm interested in and want to share with you and not just keep it all contained to a certain box based on fashion or thrift or what have you. Each Sunday, you guys, whether you're newly subscribed or returning viewers are willing to come along and do this with me together. I am profoundly thankful. This channel cannot grow without you guys. From the title, I said I can't. I cannot. Almost a month and a half ago, I did the Hermes 25. I did that review. I think that bag is a smash. And I've made my case for that. I said it. If you want to check it out, go back and check out that video. But Bala, at the point that they asked me to do another review for a different bag, in the course of communicating, I asked them a question. If I could potentially do another review on one of their other sized, the Birkin, they said yes. I selected 30 size. This is the bag that I received. Now let me just say this to you all. Every time I get one of their bags to review, I am always gonna post a video here or over here simultaneously showing me unpacking the bag. I don't wanna hold you guys up with all of that stuff about taking a bag out of the box. No, I want to get into showing you exactly what it is that you would be dealing with if you chose to go the route and get a bag like this. They agreed. I selected this right here, the Birkin 30 in the color Navi or Navy. I like Navi. It just sounds a little more sophisticated than Navy. I chose to go the direction of the same, I'm gonna call this silver hardware, but if it were Hermes speak, it'd be palladium hardware. Let's just stick to what the thing is. One thing that I will say about Babala, their speed of delivery, unlike anything I have experienced, this bag came by way of a FedEx. The bag arrived in two boxes. The exterior cardboard box that you can see in the video as I show me taking it out of its outside box. This box behind me with all of the appropriate ribbons, cards. Upon opening the box, the biggest thing that I liked, this was fully wrapped and covered the dust bag in the bag contained inside. I have had only just the one experience where I received one of their bags and it did not come in its full on packaging. Getting back to this, if you are going down the road of making a decision, such a large scale purchase as an authentic Hermes and you are not sure as far as size and you want to do a road test, go this route versus going down that road and spending for an authentic piece and deciding that this is just not something that you wanted because it's just not working for you. I would rather find that out first. And then on the flip side to that, I strongly feel with this piece, if you are looking for a bag that can do your day-to-day, -day, your working day, or your everyday handbag, this would be the bag to do it. The size of the 30 is ideal. I'm just gonna hold it down like this because I have put things in here so that you can see that it can fit quite a lot. If you had a small iPad, 
you could get an iPad in here. I don't know if a larger iPad would look as aesthetic sitting in this bag because it probably would sit up at the top. Smaller iPads, larger iPhones would work magnificently in here. You could put snacks in here. You could put a whole host of things in here. I will say this to you. I specifically wanted this 30 in the navy color because I wanted to see if in comparison to the authentic, if it worked neck and neck, size wise, color wise, I would say on the color spectrum, it's close. It is close to the color. Same with the size. And the thing that I appreciate about Babala, whomever is responsible for doing these, I look at how it's stamped, it's not sloppy, there's no spillover in the imprint, the plates and everything are solid, the sangle is engraved with the name Hermes Paris, the pocket, zip pocket at the back, same thing as you would get on the 25 slip pocket in the front. You are not going to be struggling to get your hand through here so that you can carry this right in the elbow. If you choose to carry this as an in-hand hold, you could, but this bag is heavy. It's not like the 25, so I can just do a comparison, where this bag has a little teeny bit of weight to it. When you start putting things in here, yeah, it gets a little bit heavy, but not heavy to the point where you are struggling. This is heavy. This bag, in terms of its size, this is the bag I feel epitomizes the Birkin. This size here, the 25. The 30 size, it is a large bag. Large, it can accommodate the things that you're looking for to accommodate, but larger size, more leather, more weight, and hence, I'm gonna stand up so you can see. When you put it up on the crook of your arm, you're gonna get indentations if you have things in here that weigh this bag down. It's just gonna be par for the course and something that you'd have to work around. In the back, you still have the same situation. You've got the four feet at the bottom. Four feet came with the silicone covers. So again, if you decided you wanted to leave those silicone soft covers on the feet, you could if you wanted to. Based upon its size and what you get, if you were to go and make this purchase, let me be clear. If I were going to do this Birkin, it would definitely be authentic in a 25. If I was going to go down that road, it would be an authentic 25 because the size is actually, it's perfect. If I wanted something to carry on an everyday basis in the Hermes family, it would be this size. I would probably more than likely only own one of these. I would not get another of a 30. But if I was going to do it again and do it again two, three times, if I was going down that road of looking for an authentic 25, oh, I'd definitely get an authentic 25 hands down and have one of these just for a day to day. With regards to Babala, a lot of you have tried to go to their site. They are constantly adding things. So if you have specific questions about their site, please go directly to the site and ask any questions that you should have. They have changed their name. They are babala.co. I will leave all of that information in the description box below. If you are interested in getting something like this, you will not be disappointed. This is calfskin leather. This has the gradation, the small little bumps across it like a togo leather would have. You would want to deal with a handbag company that does it the way they do it. That is my review of the 30 sized Birkin one-to-one. -one. My rating out of this, I am going to give this bag a solid nine out of a 10. So you guys, let me just get into this really quickly. I announced in my previous video that I was going to be doing another giveaway and I am. So you guys, here we go. Let me just set this up for you. I 
am going to be doing a giveaway for these two Chanel 19 pieces. What I would like you to do, if you are interested in either the beige or if you are interested in the black, this giveaway is going to be open for four weeks. We don't have time to waste over here. And I know when you guys are participating in the giveaway, you do not have time to be waiting forever in a day and jumping through 10,000 hoops in order to see if you won, go over here, follow me here. I, listen, it is very simple with me. These two bags are going to be part of the giveaway. One lucky winner will win the beige, the other lucky winner will win the black. If you are interested in participating in this giveaway, you need to like, comment why you either want the beige, why you want the black, and you need to subscribe. So like, comment, and subscribe. You need to leave a comment about which bag you are interested in potentially being the lucky winner of. One bag per one lucky winner selected. Now hear me on this. Both winners will be announced. So I will have all the specifics and everything you will see that in the description box again if you're interested in the large 19 in the beige leather or the medium 19 in the black leather you need to like comment and subscribe on this video this video okay and tell me which one of these bags you would like so like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know which one. It is that simple. For all of you who are currently subscribed, if you're interested in either one of these bags, all you need to do is drop a comment in the comment section in this video. It's simple, it's that, that's it. If you want specifics about either bag, please go back and watch those videos. I'll leave those posted up here and here and at the end so that you can easily find those videos to take a look at all the specifics and perhaps that will help you make the decision about which one of those you would like to be entered in to possibly win. And there you have it, another giveaway drawing and announcement for two lucky people. You know what to do, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I post videos every Sunday, so if you do not want to miss out, tap that and you'll receive notifications each time I post a new video. Links to my socials will be listed in the description box below. You can head on over to Poshmark. You can check out my closet. I am Con Creek Catwalk on Poshmark. Please feel free to leave me a message there if you see anything that you are interested in. Or you can head on over to IG. You can follow me there. I am the Catwalks Concrete on IG. Feel free to DM me there too if you see anything in my Poshmark closet that you like. Guys, don't forget this giveaway. Two lucky winners. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know which one you are interested in. Leave your comments here on this video. Thank you so much for stopping by this week. You guys, be safe. See you all next Sunday. Good luck. Bye for now. Stop the meat.